Hello, my criminal justice enthusiasts, and welcome back to Prison Architect. In the last episode, we began the sandbox mode, and we're starting to create our own prison. I'm creating a female prison here, which I've decided to name Siren Song, as I think it has a little bit of a ring to it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump back in and continue building on this prison. I'm selling this wood at a cheap cost, too, because I don't have the accountant in yet. But you know what? It'll get done with this objective for me, which is worthwhile. And once again, I can set up a forestry in the future here so I can sell more wood and I can actually harvest my own wood. So it'll be worthwhile. All right, the two offices are built. I just need to name this an office. So we have two offices there. We're just waiting to unlock finance. We have to build a canteen and a kitchen. We're waiting on those goods to come in here. So if you guys could, I'd appreciate it if you could go ahead and get these things put in as soon as possible. I understand you're running some piping here. I'm proud of you for running the piping. But at the same time, really need these objects set up where they're supposed to be. All right. I think I can just run this pipe right along here. It's about there, it should be good. All right. They're in there setting those things up. All right, so all of that is set up. We just need to hire the guards, two guards and two cooks. Perfect, that got us $10,000. So let's go ahead, as I said, I want to go ahead and put one more bed in here so we can get a full eight prisoners in possibly. Let's go ahead to intake and go to fill the capacity now. And actually we can put, uh, give me eight prisoners. We'll put them into this little horrible setup we have here but it'll be good enough for right now. All right, since we're gonna be getting prisoners in, let's go ahead and look at the regime. This is good for right now. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and leave that alone for right now, other than we're gonna change this. We don't need all this lockup time. I mean, it is a prison, but still, we don't need all this lockup time. Instead, we're going to have it as work and free time. So, there we go. That'll take care of that. I need to get to plumbing this facility so that these pipes are actually going somewhere. And at the same time, I need to power this area as well. You know what? is in this area I had wanted to put a power capacitor that was going to be for this wing of the prison as it is so we're going to go ahead and put that power capacitor right there take care of that that way and since my guys are doing such a great job we're going to treat them right we're going to go ahead and put in some more piping we're going to need that piping in the end anyways but for right now the main thing that it's going towards is plumbing a bathroom for what is going to become the staff room. Perfect. All right, so that'll be there. We're going to go ahead and name this room as the staff room. Needs a wide sofa and a drinks machine, which we will of course give them. But we're also gonna give them a serving table I really hope that this works this time. It was not working in the uh, the story missions and sort of disappointing in that way. I really want it to work. All right, so we're gonna put that there. We're gonna put a drink machine over here with it. We're gonna put a trash can near the door so that way we, there aren't filthy animals in here. Um, 
then we're going to go ahead and put at least one wide sofa here. Put one here for now, and we'll see how that goes. All right. Bunch of things for you guys to get to. What task do you guys want to do first? We got plenty that I want you to be doing. Let's see what you go ahead and do. All right, you're going to run some plumbing here. That's fine by me. I think I'm actually going to have to put a piece of plumbing right there, too. So that's fine. Electricity-wise, this generator here to come up like this, go along this hallway, down to there, and we're not going to have the power coming in the same place as the water is, because we're going to have to eliminate that water at a point in time, but we don't want to eliminate the power, which I may have to deal with right here, because I do want the power running into there. Yeah, I'll just have to deal with that particular piece at a point in time. So this is going to run like this for now. And then for right now, it's going to have to run up here, because it's going to have to power that particular um, I don't know what, uh, fridge and cooker there. It has to power those as well. And I don't know if we're going to need to put additional power up here or not. I really don't want to run it, as I said, same place as the pipes right now. So we'll have to deal with that in a little bit, hopefully. All right. As far as this room goes, let's go ahead and get some lights put in here as well. So put a light there, a light there, and a light there. Then we'll put a light here. Three off of that wall, so we'll go one, two, three off of that wall. Two, one, two, three, boom. See if that's enough lights for this room or if we're going to need more. We have a whole bunch of tasks going on here. We have gotten our first prisoners in, so that's good news. So we're making some money then with prisoners coming in. Um, they'll be in here dealing with this little issue that we have for right now, and we'll see how that goes. All right. So they can be put up into the holding cell. That'll be fine. This area is going to get named in as reception at a point here. You know what? Well, nah, because I need... Oh, no, I don't need the yard for right now. That's right. I have taken care of that as a need. But I don't have any time assigned to a yard, so this yard is going away. That's good. All right, so let's name this area reception, which is what it's going to be for the rest of its time. So it needs a needs to be indoors. We got that covered. It needs to have a table. We can get that easy enough. We'll go ahead and put some tables along these walls. We'll deal with that one after we get rid of this kitchen. We're going to put an office desk in here. For right now, we're going to have it off to the side, but we probably will move it in a while. All right, so it has all the things it needs. It has to have a normal chair, not an office desk chair, as I learned in Chapter 5. So that's taken care of. We can go to grants, and we can get another grant going on here. All right. So we can build a medical ward. We're going to be doing that anyways here in a little bit. Um, we're going to do that. All right, we're actually going to do this one, I think, 
go ahead and take on that grant. And we have research, so we can hire an accountant now. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll put the accountant in, so that'll take care of that grant, I believe. Yes, that is taking care of that grant. And with that, I want to research extra grants next, and then tax relief probably after that. Let's go ahead and have time going. And yes, let's go ahead and get tax relief going on, because I want to make money. And the faster I make money, the happier I'll be. We're going to need research maintenance as well, so we'll have the warden doing that. All right, because that'll get us the foreman that we need for this one. Let's go ahead and get another grant on board. All right, reform through education. These just take up time, and they really are just sort of an annoyance. All right, security procedure, hire security chief, hire 10 guards, unlock patrols. Cell block A. We'll go with cell block A as our next uh, push that we're going to have here. And then probably the inmate health and well-being will be the next one afterwards. So I really want these guys to be working and doing what I have them doing right now. Let's see if I put a few more guards in. Yes, by putting them down there, they have automatically started to assemble the foundation over there, which is good. All right, all that's being taken care of. Our cooks can't really do much because they don't have any power going down. And so first things first, I'm going to let these guys work on the things they need to and get everything up and running the way it's supposed to be. You can come in here and you can install this power generator if you want. And I also would like somebody installing... Somebody is installing that power generator, so that is good news. This power generator has been set up. Let's go ahead and run some wires from it then. Since we haven't put in walls yet, it makes it easy to run the wires along here. Something like that. And we will also need this running power into here and here. So at a point, people can get on that. Plumbing and such for these prisoners would be a good idea. You know what? Let's go ahead and not have any more prisoners coming in for right now. Just so we aren't abusing prisoners any more than we currently are. All right. So what things unlocked? We took care of finance. We also got the extra grant is now in place. Good. We've got the maintenance guy in. So that's good news. All right. So we can get another grant on board. We're going to do the inmate health and well-being, I believe. Yeah, we're going to do the inmate health and well-being. Because we're fairly close to that. For right now, I'll put the psychologist into an office that I will just create over here. All right, quick build this out. So go ahead and clone this just like that, right there. That's going to be the psychologist office for right now. And you know what? For right now, we're going to go ahead and clone this one as well. Clone this one. Let's build the foreman's office up here for right now, too. Both of those guys are going to get moved at a point in time, but for right now, they can be in here. It'll ease the situation a bit. All right. So we have a lot of stuff going on. Really, I could use some more workers. Fine. We'll put you over here. Now we're in the red as far as money, so I am going to need to take on at least one more prisoner. Intake. Fill. Total prisoners. Let's go back up to this. 1,800, once we have all this plugged in, or eight prisoners won't be that bad once we have all this plugged in. We really just need to get it where the 
construction is taken care of. So with that in mind, let's hire even a few more. It's going to put us deeper in debt each day, but we really need this built. And I know you guys are walking through a snowy wonderland. You're probably very excited about that. Please get to building the things I've asked you to. We're going to go ahead and hire a foreman. Not going to hire the psychologist yet. Uh, now that we have the foreman, let's go ahead and look at cleaning first, then groundskeeping, and then at a point here we'll need prison labor as well. I also do want micromanagement and prison policy, and we will need to research that psychologist and the health. All right, so we're spending a decent amount of money on doing research, but our boss here really can get that done. That'll work out okay for us. Go ahead and build these things as soon as possible, so that way the foreman actually feels like he has an office. How is all this plumbing in such kind? Well, the plumbing's looking really sharp, actually. We've got decent plumbing going on. We just have to finish it along this way, and we should be good. Oh, and also install the actual pump that we're going to need to make it all work. Minor detail there really is going to be important. And while you're at it, somebody can install this one capacitor that I was given as well. All right. So a lot of tasks for people to be doing. We are losing money. But we do have staff meals this time. Yay, I'm very happy about that. I really enjoy the fact that we can have a nice staff room here where the people can enjoy, have a good meal. Be very good overall. All right. So that works out great. So the staff room is official. People can be resting in here now when they need to. I should not have any staff that are upset. I mean, they're probably freezing to death out here, but it's part of the job. It's what they signed up for. And I'm sure my prisoners will be happy when they, you know, yeah, when they can use the restroom and the toilet will actually flush. That is an issue I cannot blame them for being upset about. All right. How are we doing utilities-wise? We're getting closer. Let's go ahead and speed up time here. This is the primary thing I want them to be working on. All right, they're getting that taken care of. Like a bunch of little worker bees here. They're coming down. They're putting in this pipe. They're putting in the electricity. Now, I could have put this a lot closer and made my life simpler, but the reality is I really want this to be stationed over here, and so I'd rather the prisoners suffer right now and it gets put where it's supposed to be. All right, they're about to install the water pump, and then we should have water going to all these different areas. We do have power going to these areas now, so the cooks can actually be cooking. You might actually even get to eat at a point in time. Uh, the showers should be up and running soon, so you're not going to die of the maltreatment that I'm giving you. All right. This guy's taking forever to get over here. Let's go ahead speed him up a little bit. Uh, also, while we're at it here, I do want to see this water come online. Once the water comes online, then we need to put a few things over into this facility here to make sure that it's running properly. So, once he gets that set up, we will go ahead and take care of the other things we need. All right, we have water, and we can see it now flowing perfectly over to where it needs to go. Going according to plan, our prisoners and our staff will soon enough be able to flush a toilet. That's great. All right, the toilet now has not been plumbed still. Need to extend the piping one more there. All right, well, they have showers. They will soon have a toilet they can use. They're already asleep anyway, so they'll find it as a nice surprise when they wake up in the morning. Everything will be perfect with that. All right. 
down in here, I want to put in drains around Is this is where I'm going to put my other power generator when I get it. And then we're going to go ahead and put sprinklers dotted all around them. See how that does lighting wise. All right. And we'll need to plumb these sprinklers. going to make sure that they have plenty of plumbing there because I do not want those sprinklers malfunctioning when I have a power issue going on in this facility. All right, look, this has been connected as well. So we have power over here in the staff room. Did we, for some reason, not build these walls here that I had planned on? We did not. And we didn't even get toilets in. So we have an area for toilets. We just haven't put in toilets. All right, that will change Great. So now we're going to have toilets in there. That'll work out well for the staff, I think. I think they'll be happy about that. All right. Put in a couple more lights there so that way they can enjoy the lighted areas. And then let's go ahead and build these walls in. I know these walls are going to be here, so I might as well put them in. All right, then we are going to have some lights here. See if that's enough lighting in there. We once again want to go ahead and put sprinklers in here so that if something bad were to happen, the sprinklers will hopefully take care of it. We're going to need to put a staff door on this room. And obviously going to have a staff door out here. That'll be fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and put that as wall there. And for this, for right now, we're just going to put a door over here. Perfect. All right, so let's see what we've gotten taken care of. We're still researching psychology and health and prison policy. We have researched the maintenance. We're almost done researching cleaning, so that's going well. We've got the extra grant approved. We're working on tax relief, so all of that's working perfectly well have our three grants going on. Not sure what that ding was for. Oh, we unlocked. All right, so we've unlocked janitors. And we are going to need some janitors. So we've got two janitors on. We'll hire a gardener here in a little bit. We've got to raise the prison capacity. We're going to need to build a medical ward and hire two doctors and hire a psychologist. We will have the psychologist in this office for right now. Here's going to be our medical ward. So all of that can be taken care of. All right. Now, as far as in this staff room, I want to make this a nice staff room for them. So we're going to go ahead and... Well, actually, I think that'll be enough for this episode. In the next episode, I'll go ahead and finish up this staff room. And we'll see about making the living conditions of these people a little bit better by improving this whole area. So with that being said, if you liked this video, please go ahead and click that like button. If you have not already, please subscribe and click the bell icon so that you're made aware 
when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and remember, behave yourselves out there, otherwise I may have to create a new cell for you.